good morning guys welcome back to today's video sam and i got away got away from the kids we never get oh we never get out of the house without the kids ever but sophie is oh, so sick she is so sick she has a really bad cold she can't hardly breathe out of her nose but she just has a fever and is just laying on the couch so when sam and i decided to go to costco she didn't want to come <laughs> she is miserable can you actually believe that the Halloween decorations are out already? That's insane. It's August 1st. Is it yeah. August 1st? Yeah. Even the winter coats are out, you guys. It's true, the winter coats are out. I always love the Costco coats because they're always cute. And we're done. We always buy all of our toilet paper, dog food, dish soap, snacks. I found a diamond pendant. You found a diamond pendant? <laughs> Aw, it's or it adorable. Could be an I don't know. Piece of Looks like somebody's necklace. What do we do with it? I don't know. We can't keep it because that brings bad karma yeah, onto you. Sure I'm just gonna leave it here for somebody to find. Costco is a hard store to go back into. You have to show your ID and then you have to like go all the way to the front to actually I don't know where you have to go to turn stuff in. Anyway, I left it there. Hopefully if somebody lost it they remember where they parked and they come back to look for it or maybe somebody else will find it. And take it back in. Oh, we're going home. I should have run in the tax store. Tax store? Oh, home. Home? Need my truck for the tax store. Need our truck for the tax store. Sam and I drove by when we were coming home. The goats are making noise, so that means there's trouble. There's the babies. Oh, hi, babies. Hi. Yeah, so this is the problem. Hi. They got into there. Remember, I chose not to. Uh, I chose not to cover this fence because even though I knew they, they could get in there. <laughs> Look at the little boy. <laughs> All you see is his head. That would be such a cute picture. Anyways, I don't think the moms know how to get back out. So we saw them up. This used to be the old poop pile. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come on. Come on, Sophie's getting sick and she, or Sophie's getting soaked and she's sick. So Sophie, okay, so we're trying to figure out if if the moms are pregnant. Do we leave that open? Because if they're just gonna try and squeeze through there, it's better for them to just go in there. Just open it a little, maybe. Just enough so they can get in there. Yeah. Alright, let's go look at them. This is their favorite spot in behind this wall. Oh, but look at this wall. It's so oh, oh sorry. It's so cute. We could totally take pictures here. Minus like the poop. All right, yeah, so this is their favorite spot. Oh, we can take pictures on this side. I'm gonna try and do that. We might do our, our Thanksgiving family photos here. They're like, we were stuck in <laughs> They're like, we're twins, we're twins. <laughs> I love having twins. Anyways, what's on her back? Is that a bug? A deer fly or no, it's just, okay. So anyways, Sylvia and I have been trying to decide if they're pregnant. So you guys know how goats, most goats. Her belly looks like it looks like it's dropped a lot. You think it, it got, do you think it's smaller now? Anyways, um, most goats are like short day breeders, meaning that they start to breed, go into heat when the okay. days start to get shorter. But this breed and spe this breed specifically can breed any time of the year and they were running with a buck and so there was a chance that they would be pregnant when we bought them like so we knew there was a chance that they'd be pregnant when we bought them but they had just given birth not too long before but just long enough that they could be pregnant so it's definitely a questionable thing but we came out yesterday and mocha looked so much bigger like she just we could tell a huge change in her mocha, don't go back over this there. one not so much oh i love this i love this rock they love it too. oh my gosh he is the cutest boy sylvia and i love him i wish he had blue eyes anyways um so we're trying to decide we can't tell <laughs> she's peeing they look so cute when they pee and they look really cute when they're just laying there you're so cute anyway that's what happened the babies were screaming because they could get back through and the mamas couldn't get back and through and the parents were screaming because and the parents were screaming because they they're the yeah their babies were away from them 
But I we saved you. I think it was more they were out in the rain. Oh, probably they were out in the rain. <laughs> Nobody likes the rain. All the goats were looking chubbier yesterday. So it wasn't just the, the mama goats. Actually, it's only just the one mocha that I have suspicions about. I'm hoping that they're not pregnant because it just seems too soon to me for them to have a baby. She had twins and then to like be pregnant again right after. I honestly would never wish that on anybody. Sylvia is incredibly sick. She has her first cold of the season. And this house. And this house. My dog does not want to stay with you? Yeah. Who's that screaming? She's adorable. We're here. Don't worry. Are you getting wet? I have this little thing. I have this little thing over a certain part, a little square of this pen that they're in. I'm hoping it'll protect them from rain. If they want to get in, that's like at least a small spot for them to get in out of the rain. But now they're swimming in the rain. Sophie doesn't like to stay home alone, so we've... Where's Dad? Computer. Oh, so we've um, commissioned Gabby to stay with her. So Gabby's gonna have a shower while we go to the tax store. Even though we uh, are moved in, and we're not even close to being moved in, we still have like a lot of stuff that we are working on. Still have stuff in the barn that we're working on, so that's what we're doing today. I did set up my little area though. My little computer area, my own little desk, which I'm really excited about. Set up my little area. Where's your little area? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is Sam's little area. What What are you actually going to be doing with all that? I don't know. Here's a bookshelf. But is it all stuff you use? Like, can some of it go into storage? Eventually, I will use some of it. Yeah, so Sam, so these are Ikea bookshelves, so you need to get yourself, at, like, I, oh, it looks like only one will fit over there, an Ikea bookshelf. Yeah, so that means this is not centered in the room, so I should move it over. <laughs> what are you trying to say, I have more room than you? That's right. <laughs> Anyways, I love this little corner, it's my favorite. I found my first ever phone. Yeah, so oh. in all that moving, Sam found his first ever phone. I'm gonna get it re-hooked up and start using that. Are you serious? I don't even think you can. Yeah, you can. No. We are so tired, but I love this little area. I love like the setup. This is where Sophie will be mostly doing homeschool and stuff in this room and I'll be helping her. So I'm excited to have like my own little space. I actually have nothing to do on this space yet. Like. I think, I'll, I think I'm gonna use it for like crafting and stuff. I don't know. But it stores all of our stuff, like all of our pencils and pens and all of our markers. We have this set of markers over here. Um, all of our extra binders and I don't know. It doesn't really have a purpose yet, but I'm gonna find it a purpose. And anything else over here yet? We still have, we brought, home, we brought over a bunch of our blinds and we're gonna hang them up. Um, it still have this like little, section for the grandkids i like the top has a lot of our crafting stuff on it and then the bottom is all of our toys for our grandkids and at the very bottom of that is a very messy ellie <laughs> i brushed her hair this morning i just didn't put it up hi was i gone and you felt sad another day another mess in the tack room <laughs> it's been a lot you guys so we're gonna keep one fridge in this barn and then we're gonna put the other fridge and the other barn for like goat medicine and stuff. Oh, there's my water jug I've been looking for. So today we're gonna try and set up another stall, get our mats in. And we have, Sam bought some, he bought another water hook and then he bought these. What are these for? Those things, but they're not screwing. They're for that? They're for that. Oh, for cross ties. Yeah, oh. cross ties. Oh, that's cool. They are screwing type. And we got Gabby, but no Sophie. Are these lights from the old barn? Yes. Oh, I like it. Oh, I love it. It lights up the whole feed station area now. The feed station area is working for us. And we have our thermometer posted. I actually am excited about riding. I have like a ride plan for us, but I'm waiting until Sophie gets better. <laughs> hey, Gino. How you doing, handsome man? Hey, he's been loving this bigger stall. We put him in a stall of his history with laminitis. It changes so many things and it makes it really take a long time for his abscesses to burst, which is like a huge issue. Hey, stop doing that. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Oh. She likes your hair just how she looks. He looks like he's feeling better. 
He's right. not enjoying the abscesses, guys. That's like the the issue that he's not happy about. I'm gonna put this one in there. So the, my the other one that's on top is okay. All right, so we're gonna put this stall in the middle because when we put Chino in the big stall, we put Storm in the last stall. And how is Storm feeling about that? I think he'd be better in the middle stall because then he can see everybody. Yeah, he didn't like the last stall. He really likes this stall. But Chino needs it most right now. So we put Chino in a stall just because his feet are sore from the abscesses and we want him to just be comfortable. are the bane of my existence. They're awful. They're literally awful. With Chino indisposed, it's been a really good because Willow, we can feed her like more appropriately to a mini. Chino just pushed the door open. <laughs> I can tell he's already feeling better. We got different pain meds for the vet. It never looks as nice as the first day you clean out a stall and put fresh shavings in. So we're thinking about putting mats over in that area. At least some mats in there like maybe over in this section or in front of this fence where we feed them sometimes. This stall's getting green. I'm trying to keep the, the buckets all one color in each stall. Storm's color is red though. Storm stall is red, but Chino's using red right now. So I'm gonna go look in the trailer and see if I can find the other red bucket. But for now, green it is. So this is Storm's new stall. <laughs> I think he'll like it. You think he'll like it? He'll like it yeah. I think he'll like it because he's closer to his mares. Now we have all the mats in the stalls that we need. I want to put mats in here. I have lots of mats. And the reason is because I don't like the dirt floor. So I'm thinking about putting like four mats in here. Or should I put three across to make the whole thing mats? I'm going to end up putting at least four mats in here. And then probably some mats in there because we were thinking, so if he likes to, to groom here, I don't know. We're thinking making her groom in here, but then she wouldn't be able to keep, I, think we need to change I don't know. This into wood and then have a, yeah, I think we need to change this into wood too. Into wood and then we can tack up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Change this to wood. There's my penny girl. I don't know where anybody else is. They really like that field over there. I'm excited to show you guys. We're gonna go and planning a trail ride where we trail ride in one of our fields and I'm really excited about it. It's a really cute little field and it's back from the road. And um, I'm nervous about it because I know like it's a new space and our horses are gonna be totally alert. <laughs> Wow, you guys, now we're cooking with lights. Look how bright it is. I love a bright barn. I love it. 
so much nicer. I like to be able to see inside the horse's stall and be able to see what they're doing. Like you can do so many things, especially if we can even tack up in our stalls, to be honest. So we're gonna put one of the really bright lights here so that this part is lit up too. And over there we're gonna put extra bright lights. To the goat barn. When Sam has tools out, I do not let him get away until, I'm gotten, until he's done all the little jobs that I have planned for him. I hear the bells. I hear the pitter patter of little goat bells. <laughs> they hear us and they all come running. Hi babies! <laughs> the reason I'm wondering if um, the little this little girl is pregnant is because she's definitely changed a lot since we got her, but she's really insanely motivated by food. And like I said, she's gotten bigger, but I mean that's that's understandable because they have they didn't have grass at their old place. Hey, get down, mister. Get down. So Sam's gonna fix the door because every time we tuck them in at night, they just get out. Oh, they're all watching you. <laughs> no, they're curious. <laughs> they're not scared. <laughs> See, look at her. She always wants food. Like she, if she even hears us, she's always the first one to the gate. She's always waiting at the gate looking for us. It's okay, it's okay. So Sophie and I are gonna put a fridge down here. We definitely want a fridge. I don't know if I've showed you guys this room, but Sophie and I looked in there the other day. Super scary. I don't have my flashlight to show you, but it's weird. So it's this random room. And then it's got like a plug there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, oh, right there. I can't tell, but when we shone a light in there, it looked like a water. Look, the cat's here? Yeah. Anyway, isn't that like a weird, creepy closet with electricity? <laughs> we could put the fridge in there, but I don't know who would go in there. That's creepy. Hi. Oh yeah, you're out of water. Right. Oh, there you go. I gave you fresh water. He's sticking around. That's so exciting. Do you guys remember when we cleaned out this room and we made it into our tack room? I don't know if I showed you. We hung up some hooks. Sam hung up some hooks for us. We have a ton of dog leashes and we want to teach them to walk on a leash. So that's like a fall project. And we needed scissors down here because um, we're always trying to cut the hay and we can never cut the hay because we don't ever have scissors. So we want a shelf down here. I might put it right here or even maybe put it lower there um, because we want some place to put our, this is the thing that we give the goat's grain in and we want some place to set it. And you're gonna walk it now. Oh, you put a nice, really nice handle on there. I love it. Okay, wait, um, I want you to feed the goats. You've never fed the goats. <laughs> he loves his new water bucket. <laughs> you welcome? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Yeah. See, she's, she's always the first one. Sam's yeah. like, no, you have to do it with your hand. It's not the same as you do it with your hand. Right. <laughs> oh, she's scared of them. Uh, they come when you call them. <laughs> yeah. pig. Give me the baby. <laughs> Give me the baby tongue. Another baby son. Rocky. Rocky. Hey Rocky. Don't give him too much.